Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. I am Draco Thubin, and let's get to getting. Alright, we are going to uh, continue on through here and hopefully make up for some lost time. Alright. Alright, this is the mini boss of this area. I can never remember his name, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take him out. And we're going to use the uh, recharge beam. I'm, I don't know if it's any quicker than trying to use. It just seems to hit better, so. Now he'll move real fast as he starts turning red, um, so he gets much harder to hit. As you can see, he's starting to move faster now. Alright, should only be a couple more hits now. There we go. Alright! So, let's continue on. Right now in here, the first thing that we want to do is jump up there. Be careful in that quicksand because if you fall uh, down in there um, too far, you'll get dragged down into another part of the uh, the Meridia world. But you want to jump up there and uh, roll into a ball to grab this energy tank here. So now for some reason, when you are running um, with your blue echoes. You don't fall in the quicksand! So just run across there and bust through them blocks. And we get more mock droids. Fantastic. Feels like I've been here before. Anywho. We'll jump up here, head through this door, and continue on through. And hopefully as fast as possible. Watch out, there's a couple of ones with uh, spikes that you want to watch out for. Um, now you can use the uh, grappling beam through here if you like, uh, but most of the time it's just more hassle than it's worth. Um, especially here, this this wall for some reason is so much harder to grab onto with the, uh, the grappling hook because you've got to be dead on accurate. But instead you just got to wall jump and have a little bit of skill at wall jumping. Alright, now these aren't spikes, they're just background, so you can just, or foreground actually. Um, but you want to come over here, grab this missile, and uh, those pit areas in the last little section there are actually pits, so you're, you're going to fall down in there next. Now we're going to face the easiest boss in the game, Dragon! So let's go ahead and knock this eye out of commission here real quick. Open the door and meet the, uh, the simple boss that we got going on here. Alright, um, first thing we want to do is take out these cannons because uh, they're annoying. I don't like them. So you just shoot them with a super missile and they're out of commission. So, anyway, these are little mini dragons running around here. And they're going to go find their mommy. Um, he's going to swoop down in an arc. You want to avoid him when he does that. But when he comes down and starts shooting gray stuff, uh, you're actually going to want to get grabbed. So, he usually swoops down from one way and then swoops down. Oh, see, now he's going to try to grab me. You want to let him grab you, and then he's going to start swinging you back and forth. The goal is, when you get close to one of those um, electric fields over there, you're going to use your grappling beam and attach yourself to it. And what that's going to do is going to shock you both, and it's going to kill him very quickly. Two, three, four, five. About five seconds and he's done. That is too easy, folks. You ain't even got to shoot him. You don't even have to hurt him directly. Just shock yourself for a little bit. So as long as you got more than three uh, energy tanks, you can win this fight. Three energy tanks and the and the grappling beam, and you're good. All right, now let's claim our prize. That's the space jump. Da -da -da -da. We got the space jump. Now we're on fire, and I'm in a good mood because I'm not sick anymore. Yes, I'm a much better commentator when I don't have uh, mucus and all kinds of nasty stuff in my sinuses, so... 
amazingly enough. So let's head back up and out. Um, that room is actually pretty easy to get out of without the space jump. You don't need it to get out of there. Um, but it's now very, very helpful. Especially to get out of uh, rooms like this, where you've got to not get trapped in quicksand. Quicksand is evil. Alright, let's jump up here. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't stop the uh, mock droids. Um, however, the screw attack later will, but we won't uh, see a whole lot of the mock droids at that point in the game, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, they can have a little bit of me right now, I don't care. But there's nothing else over there. Um, there's a flashing door there, but don't worry about it, we're going to be coming out of that door in a little bit. Okay, we're back here. Um, I'm going to get some running room, because we want to uh, run like we did before, so we don't have to... Uh, get sucked down into the quicksand right away. We eventually do, but not right, right at first. So you want to fall in this pit on the left side, because the left side is going to get you closer to where you need to go. Get sucked down in there, and all these things are going to come after you. And right now, they suck and they're hard to kill, so... Don't worry about it. I'm going to go on to the left, and whoa, wait a minute, we've been here before. That's the door I told you about before that we weren't uh, going to worry about for now. So, Alright, you're going to go to this far edge here and you're going to bomb this block right here in the middle. And then you're going to run to the first quicksand pit and you're going to fall down again. Usually it's not a good idea to fall into quicksand, but in this game... <sighs> oh well, rules are meant to be broken. Then we're going to go ahead and head up here, grab this missile, and there's uh, power bombs on the other side. So, woohoo! Getting there. Getting close. We're almost maxed on super missiles. Look at that. I didn't even realize. Um, but you gotta, you got to jump up and uh, morph ball to get up here. you got that block. It, it's just a simple shoot block. And grab your power bombs. Right on. Okay. Now you want to go to the, uh, I believe it's the right side on this one, and you will find a space where you can fall down. You can't fall down during the whole place, um, but you want to go down to that right side, and then um, you're going to keep on going to the right until you get to this room here. One room over, and you'll notice the uh, grappling beam block right there. You're going to latch onto that for a second, and it's going to disappear. Disappear for good, so go ahead and hit on up. Um, now this part, you want to go ahead and charge yourself up. Um, a uh, pseudo spin attack or a pseudo screw attack, and we're gonna go up this wall. There's uh, four little fly enemies up there that you want to uh, avoid getting knocked back by, and you should only usually you'll hit one of them with it, and that's all you really need to worry about. Now watch these here. A lot of these are gravity blocks. You don't want to fall too far down. If you go along the right side, you'll land on this one, and then move over to the left till you fall again, and then back over to the right, and you should be fine. Um, but you want to make sure you hit this door, because otherwise you're going to have to go around through that loop again. And as soon as you get here, lay a power bomb immediately, so that he can go through that door, and uh, or that wall, and give you a path. Uh, if you wait too long, he'll land on the door, and you'll have to wait for him to encircle this whole area again, and he moves very slow. Very slow. Can you speed it up, dude? We're kind of in a hurry. Uh got like stuff to do we gotta you know like you know kill some more enemies and get some more stuff and find the metroid larva come on guy move it come on dude you know what i'm sick of you dude so you know what i think you are going to die he's waiting to die five points for anyone who knows where that movie is all right fall down into this hole you're going to bomb yourself up a couple of ledges here, and guess what we get? The Spring Ball! Of course, uh, we don't need it to complete anything in the game. Anything that you can do with the Spring Ball, you can do with the, um, uh, with bomb jumping, but what the hey? And we're going to, uh, end the, uh, video right there. Uh, go ahead and the next, uh, save state there. And uh, I will see you next time on Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. Have a good day, and thanks for watching.